Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I'd like to start out with your story because it doesn't always get told. Um, you had some really big shifts in your life. You actually took a huge course correction um, and lost a big amount of money and uh, gained much more. Take me, take me through, take us through a little bit of your journey and how you got here today, Patrick. Sure, I'd be happy to share. It's, it's been pretty interesting. You know, I, I grew up thinking that the American dream was going to bring me fulfillment. And what that meant was I was uh, competitive. I was money-oriented. I wanted uh, more for me than for the people around me meaning, you know, I, I really was into competition. And so I went into a money field that was a financial advisor. And at the age of 30, I made a million dollars in a year. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, the thing was, I woke up every day with fear in my heart. I felt mm. horrible about myself every day. And I wanted to know why. And I asked the questions, you know, what is going on here? And while I was waking up with fear in my heart and making all that money and driving a Porsche and building a house on the water, my health was declining and uh, my body was falling apart. I was in pain. I remember, um, oh gosh, it, it brings back the, the tears and the goosebumps to re remember the story. I was standing at the bottom of the stairs in this house that I had built and I had my daughter on my hip and uh, she was about a year and a half old. And I looked at the stairs and felt the pain in my knees and my legs and wondered if I was going to be able to carry her up the stairs without her knowing how much pain I was in. Mm. And I went to doctors, I went to um, alternative health providers, and I just started an inquiry like, why am I acting like this is old age at 31? And um, it it took a bunch of years to um, cultivate some strength in that conversation and to have some discernment and to understand what was going on. And the, in 2008, the month that um, Lehman Brothers collapsed, I was responsible for um, financial decisions for a small financial advisory firm. And, and that same month was the more, month that my divorce was final. So talk about stress, right? And, um, you know, I think I, I really believe in the idea that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And what happened during that time is I lost millions of dollars, both to the divorce and to the stock market. But I found uh, Patrick. Um, and so what's happened over the last 10 years since then is I had the courage to follow my passion to get rid of plastic water bottles in my town. And I had the courage to leave my career as a financial advisor. I, I can't tell you I went out easily. Like my last day as a financial advisor, I ended up calling an ambulance for myself in the middle of the night. So uh, I kicked and screamed, hanging onto the money for as long as I could. And in 2010, May of 2010, I said, well, I'm really passionate about this water thing, so I guess that's my direction because it seems like it feels like it's the only door in my life that's open. So I'm going to take a leave of absence from the firm, and I'm going to find out what happens if I follow this passion. And that's when I started really deeply healing and coming to understand life at a much deeper level. And um, yeah, let me let me pause for a second and see how much further you want me to go because there's another seven or eight years there to to share, and I can keep going. <laughs> well, you mentioned water, 
And um, I know we've been talking about some of that negative ionic energy and the crystalline energy and all of the new developments coming in from scientific communities and those who are ascending about all of these truths. But what is it about water that seemed to be a big piece of this awakening process for you? You know, at the time that it was happening, Darius, I would just say that I was completely unconscious to it, but that it felt better than anything else. Right, right. And right now that I'm I'm eight years down that road, what I would say is I've had moments where my experience is that water is God. I've had moments where I have insights that literally everything is watery. You know, you talk about the new discoveries. One of the mm. great places for science these days with water is the University of Washington and the bioengineering department and Gerald Pollack. And one of the things I think he's uh, given us that's, that's helpful is most people, when they cite how important water is, they say it's 70% of your body. But what Dr. Pollack has actually taught us is it's 99% of the molecules by count in your body. So literally, like almost every molecule is a water molecule. It's just they're really, really teeny tiny. And so I've come to understand in these eight years that water is everywhere and in everything, and it's alive, it's conscious, it's energetic, it stores energy, it's influenced by its environment, it has memory. Um, I went to a conference once, and... and uh, after four days, we were saying our goodbyes, and and uh, I I've been I was single um, when I was there, and and the woman said, well, it was really nice to meet you and your wife, Water. We'll see you later. <laughs> and uh, oh, wow. that that's that's the way she saw me. It's like I'm I'm wedded to it, and um, it it does feel that way. I feel like I see water in uh, plants and animals, and mm-hmm. like there's just another face being put on the water. And the water is uh, bringing forth a message for me. And, you know, I've come to understand that water carries messages of oneness. It brings experiences to help us understand how to evolve. And it's infinitely um, uh, patient in that. And it just keeps coming to our door and showing us a new experience with the intention of helping us expand our consciousness and raise our vibration, become more aware. Yeah, so, you know, that that all got revealed over these last eight years when what I wanted to do was get rid of plastic water bottles. And so I, I looked at traditional filters and I looked at different products and uh, what story would I have to learn for myself and then be able to tell others that when they heard it, if they were using a plastic water bottle, they would stop because this story would be a showstopper. It would be that much better. And when I learned about the energy of water, I knew I had found that answer. It just took a couple of years to, to get a deep enough story around it to be able to uh, share it with people because you know there's there's no there's no manual for creating new wealth revolution and bringing this community together right. and there's no manual for uh, understanding the energetics of water it mm. it just has to be accessed and it has to be allowed to come into consciousness one experience at a time and so yeah. that's what I do is I just live the experiences with water and and do my best to discern what they mean. Amazing. Yes, and I can feel that with you. It's very fluid and, and yet very powerful, and I appreciate that about you and your soul. Um, the other story that's interesting that, that started developing was the crystalline story, because you told me privately that before you got on this call, you talked with a crystal expert or crystal uh, high vibrational being, and they had some things about crystalline energy that were specific to this group. What did you learn uh, generally from this person about uh, crystals and U.S. revolution? Well, um, you know, the, the, uh, the exciting thing about crystals is that they are infinite energies. And they 
there are very different ones available out there. Um, I remember uh, 2008 was one of my, during the divorce and the financial crisis, was one of my first experiences with um, going to an energy healer. And this was a place where I would go and I was so exhausted and depleted. I would literally uh, go in my suit and tie and I would lie down on the floor in this woman's office and she would get her dowsing rods out and put on her uh, Diva Pramal CD and do energy processes to help clear that which was stuck in me. And I had very little sensitivity, very little awareness, but I worked with her for quite a long time. And one of the things that happened during that time is I purchased these little crystal lamps and different things to put around my home. And I remember telling her, um, you know, hey, Trish, I, I put a couple of those in my bedroom. And she's like, oh, do you turn them on? And I said, yeah, I, I just leave them on 24-7. And she's like, I can't believe it. You have those in your bedroom? I was like, yeah. She's like, and you can sleep? And I was uh. like, yeah, because I had no sensitivity, right? No, mm. no awareness. And it took a couple of years with sleeping with those until I started to have some sensitivity. So mm. um, now here we are 10 years later, and I've been involved with these crystal water bottles for a year and a half, and I've surrounded myself with a lot of people who it's their passion to understand crystals. They, you know, it's kind of a, a part of how they live. Yeah. And yeah. when when we were coming together for this show, I went to these people and I talked to them and I said, you know, uh, Darius has got this community, and I described them and I described how. Mm important it is to understand ourselves uh, from a vibration and a consciousness perspective. And I asked them, you know, is there a way to put together uh, products that would help a community like this to, um, to feel their, the energetic aspects of themselves? Like the sensitivity that took me so long to cultivate, could I help others cultivate it more quickly? Uh, could I help them open their pineal gland? Could I help them with their physical bodies? Were, were there products that would do that? And I learned that there are. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.